I'm, I'm in an area where I live with 80% of Ukop girls in Lagos. Entirely, Ikeoju girls are mainly into Ukop business. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, so, no, no, I'm not actually. I'm not actually. Hey, I'm going to fall no, after no. you. Actually, <laughs> I'm very sorry to SLT girls. <laughs> SLT girls at this very moment, they are mainly Ukop girls. No girl is coming to class but again because of anything. How much is that? I know. Not like, me, I'm not like, I've been there too. Other like two. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I am. And, and, and why the flip I side of it is that somebody that's ordering your wife. <laughs> you know, I don't mind as long as I'm bending somebody over. They actually. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Not definitely. Sorry, can you actually? Actually, I, I'm not hundred percent. Like because you now watch Western movies and in perhaps in Western movies. That's Western. And one night stand tries. Everybody can speak at the same. Okay, she said that she elaborate on that. Okay. On the influence of Western culture on the trend in hook up and all that. I think, for example, with the internet and perhaps social media and all that, when they're exposed to Western yeah. movies, Western uh, music and all that, and in their movies we see these encounters, like it's, like it's nothing big, unlike how we've seen normal sexual encounters uh, yeah. in this part of the world. Uh, in their world, it's nothing big, and we copy most of those things. They, start, they call it cultivation theory. You cultivate, start behaving like what you see often. And so I think uh, the, the writer here is of the opinion that we've been exposed seeing uh, Western media, Western movies, Western music and all that, and the portrayal of sex as no big deal. Uh, we kind of, should I say, take, start behaving like them in certain ways. So, and that's why perhaps in the, in the writer's view, the hookup culture is becoming popular and so on. I want to, it's, it's a controversial opinion set in, Summer, because you can also see people who have been exposed, even in those Western countries, there are people who see it as like a big deal and all that. Who see sexual encounters as a big deal and frown at like these casual encounters. I don't think I agree with that. That cause you don't. You don't I agree. don't actually agree with that. So, what what would you say is the reason? Um, I'm I'm in an area where I live with eighty percent of Ukop girls in Lagos. Where do you live? Where do you live? I start entirely equality girls are mainly into core business. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Update. I don't, so, no, I'm not actually. I'm not actually. Everybody, I'm going to phone after you. Actually, actually. No, no, she should be annoyed. Let me know your I, house. <laughs> sorry, they shouldn't really like, be annoyed. But I actually live in an area where a girl can literally drop out of school, then become a hookup girl, and then the next day, you just see that she's big and. Then most of them, they won't, most of them leak their secret and then most of them be like, she's using best control, shit like that. And they end up using, they become big and they be like, they are doing work. What kind of work are you doing? And they are buying an iPhone 13. They are doing work actually. So it's, like, not, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's kind of annoying because... Sorry to last with the girls. I am very sorry. Exactly. SLT department. I am ah! very <laughs> <laughs> I am very, no, so I'm very sorry to SLT girls. But I am Currently, very, both currently and before, I am very yeah, sorry. Because but I graduated from school. last protect too. So. I think SLT <laughs> girls, are, <laughs> SLT girls at this very moment, they are mainly Ukup girls. No girl is coming to class but again because of anything. How much is it? No, only in this It's not only yeah, them. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not deviate. No, let's I'm not actually not speaking on that. Listen, let's not deviate. She yeah. said that oh, she's talking. she has she stays in an environment where eighty percent of the girls come for you. Eighty percent <laughs> she's girls. Is she staying, up and she's staying not to be influenced by that. I think I'm not staying in an This is light. This is somewhere darkness. I have grown up in the next let me say 14, 15 years. Hmm. And we all grew up together. We all went to the same school. And then all of a sudden, you just see a girl just come out and she'll be like, I did not finish school. I stopped in the sense too. I will ask why. And she'll be like, she does not feel like going to school. And I said, okay, no problem. And she'll be like, she's going for work. What kind of work are you doing? They have experience I've seen where guys be like, they'll post the girl's nude. They don't actually know they are videoing them and stuff. So as I said earlier, I actually stay in Ikorodu. I'm not actually seeing the entire Ikorodu girls. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to say eight out of every 10 girls I meet are O'Club girls. Okay. I'm not like trying to emphasize anything, but I'm not saying it is only last for take, but SLT department. That SLT department. What level, please? Like, <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> SLT is only It's not about, it's it's not about uh, I'm not joining the ND program because I, I just changed it to the university stuff. So I'll just say the ND program. The ND program, like go ND and each other, not consign all of them. Shall to get that joint all Both of evening. them. Go evening, morning, afternoon, midnight, everything. <laughs> but eighty percent of them are into coding. I actually have, cause I'm an engineering student. I actually have an experience whereby some of my classmates be like, ah, just you just pass, once you just pass that SLT department, like, ah, that gets sweet though. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's be like it's be actually I'm so not be like because they are much. I'm not be like which girl. Do not point about two, three. <laughs> and they are they are they, 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 they cannot do anything. They cannot say anything. It's not money I'm paying them. And I'll be like, wow, 
you're actually paying them and they know like they, they actually refer them and the way they do it if you sleep with me you will sleep with my friend you will sleep with my friend friend that's how you do it it's just like friend. passing to that each other that's marketing that's mm. that's 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 it's very, it is very annoying because by the time you come out, you no longer have that dignity as a woman when you are coming out. Because any guy that comes out now will be like, I've slept with that one before. I've slept with that one before. This one is not sweet on the bed. This one is sweet on the bed. This is actually very That's annoying. True. And then most of them will tell you, I don't do cup for, I don't do cup, I don't. And this one will be like, I just want, I'm going to give her the money that she's going to buy for. <laughs> yes, 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 because they actually most of them actually assess they actually expand their demand during the old hookup thing they'll be like if you can pay me this amount I'll give you extra and you get mm-hmm. it so the money actually increases maybe they're supposed to go for two hours or maybe just three four hours they actually extend to like a day and the girl will be paying around 50 you need to know a lot of yeah, details I, I about this exactly I'm 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 okay you have a lot of details so we don't cap in by hours I'm in, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in a department where I'm, 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 I'm like inside a hundred and twenty something students. We are only nine girls. So most of these boys are yellow boys that just like carry girls a lot. They don't have, they'll tell you I don't have main girlfriend. It's every girl that is my girl. Hmm. So anytime they are sharing their encounter with us, it's not like we don't have a call girls in our own department though. But it's we are trying to get nine this? of you in that department, like seven are open guests. No, no, wait, no, 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 of every other engineering department, if there's any hookup girl mm. in the engineering department, but my own department, civil engineering, no, it's only one I know of, and I think since and the one first semester, I've not seen her again. Okay, All right, so then, then, to recap yeah, what you said, you said that eight out of ten girls in SLT department in Last Protect, according to your own experience, are into hookup, but your own department of the nine girls in your department, only one out of nine. Only nine. one out of nine yeah. is involved in the cop. Yeah. yeah. So your departments. You have uh, you moved your girls. department from last protect girls. All right. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, like um, we're not one in engineering. Yeah, you know most in engineering guys. department, we are not even up to thirty. No, we're not even up to twenty girls in the entire engineering department. So I wouldn't say for other department. In other department, I can say about two, three, and the other department because we have about four or five engineering courses in the school. Mm. Just speak on quantity. So you don't say about everybody. Because you don't know the person exactly doing you. Yeah. Only know, you only see one. That, that, that's yeah. what, that's what everybody is Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. You Let only saw one. Point. You don't know about the rest. As yes. you don't tag them saying that all last protect today. I finished from last protect. I also finished, finished from last protect. She finished from there. No, she finished from there. She finished from there. She finished from there. She finished from there. Hold on You cannot compare now and before. Get it right. Before, at that then when I was there, there was nothing like. Sorry, which there was. 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 Cosmates or your departmental mates, okay. guys, Wahala. talk about maybe this girl passed that girl. Guys are like that. Let me tell you, when they hey, are not like that, guys are like that. Some guys are like that. Some guys are like that. Let's Let's guys are like that. Because they asked a girl out and the yeah, girl didn't accept, they want to spoil her. Yes. And they, they said it to your ear, you now believe they are not spoiled. Like, uh, you understand? Oh, yeah, you only know, you know, yeah. you know yeah. the ones you are sure of. The ones you are sure of. Let me tell you. This other SLT you talk about. <laughs> yes, they have hook up girls, but you don't have to target. Oh, yes. because yes. they might be, you might see someone's attitude. Chill, chill. You might see someone's attitude. She act like one rascal. Girl. Rascal. She says she do hook up. Is God? Is God. Is God. You know? Wait. Oh my God. Wait. 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 Wait
All, all, the, guys, all the guys all are done. telling you you are capping. I'm not capping. I'm telling you. Actually, I'm not capping. But you're actually capping when it comes to something like that. You're actually capping. You don't have to capping. No, I'm not capping. No, wait, I'm not capping. No, don't go to my Do you know that a girl that will wear an hijab from her head to her toe can actually be doing a cup? Yes. No, don't say anything. You wanted to raise up your hand, so. Yeah, I wanted to ask a question. Like, are we talking about like prostitution, like the transactional one, or just like who up with like yeah. guys? Okay. And, like, okay, who just hook up and have casual sex? They actually, with actually no have commitment. levels of. Um, no, 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 I'm not talking about you, like the topic. Okay. okay. So we are, she's asking, the, let me to clarify your question. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you saying that girls are perhaps go on dating apps and they put it there that, you know what, you pay me 30 grand? It's for a night. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 30 grand is yeah. for maybe a yeah. session. Yeah. Yes. And then girls or girls who, who go out with guys, they don't plan to marry them. They have yeah. no intention. They, just they don't have, to have sex for the weekend sex. and go. Yeah. yeah. That's the question she's asking. Yes. Without I think I think both both are are both. Why are you, why are you surprised that they are? Are girls like that? Yeah. 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 No. no. Like okay, girls. No. Let's just. Let's see. 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 Oh, no. What do you say? Okay. I said Lek is like a big orgy party where people are just like exchanging, not OLG, exchanging girlfriends. OLG, OLG. OLG. No, not orgy. Orgy. You said orgy party. OLG. Oh, OG party. Oh, no, my OG. I need to move no. my house to that area. <laughs> <laughs> like it happens all the time. All the time. Free of charge. Yeah. Now why you so? No, I'll go for next year. That's it. Like, that's like, 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 Hmm. To clarify what she's saying, let's go back to the article to see what the author of this okay, article this author is referencing. Yes. She said hookup is hookup culture is a term that has become increasingly common ah, Lord, in Nigeria in recent years. It refers to a casual encounter between two people who are not in a committed relationship. Why the term has been used in Western culture for some time? It's only it's only you have captured, hey, you have captured it already. You said casual has been, so, yes, now casual sex. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, so money can no, be involved. It's not money it's can not involved. Like Sometimes involved. even not money necessarily is money is involved. Yeah, and it has yeah. 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 Lisa, no Lisa, Lisa, I want to confirm the O L G Y party you are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that it's the only I mean, not like, not like, literally, it's yeah. just like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I want to ask the only. Thing, the guy, uh, the guy pays for is Tiffa or is Tiffa alone or food? Like some girls don't even like ask for Tiffa. They have money. No, no, no. Like himself, they have their just right. go there. It's not. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll miss that. Why? Why you like? Why you like? No, why you like? You can do after the show. Updates will come after the show. Updates will come after the show. Don't worry. Let's go. Don't worry. I have a number. I have a number. It's surprising because girls are used to be this. No, 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 no. Yes, like, and they form and then don't. That's the. Like, you don't have a boyfriend, but you want to have sex. Like, hey, the world is changing as well. Yeah, oh. Like How's go with so something to like protect yourself? Right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Well, back to the conversation. Okay, Just and. Um, have you, have you, you've clarified what you want to clarify? Yes, bro. Yes. Oh, I want to say another thing. I think coming for the last protect girls, I think generally, eh? I think it's common to all institution. Yes, yes. yes. Exactly. special institution. Yes, and um, if I can categorically say that if we have other um, tertiary institutions, yeah, like let's say University of Lagos, Ibadan, you UI, or anyone, and then their ladies are blunt enough, they would actually say this. So it's, it's not just com- it's not just last project like that this is happening. It's yes. everywhere. She's okay, no problem. And also, she's just being I'm, blunt. I'm just and then, trying to like emphasize on my area, last protect. Okay. Who is outside okay. last protect? Yeah. Yeah. What course are you studying? Computer science. Okay, so you have, do you agree with her? I don't know. I only know for my own department. <laughs> okay, what's your own? <laughs> even for her own department, they are talking about most of them will not even do it with students. I don't. Mm-hmm. I know. I, I have, can't be sure. I have that. a friend in Ijebu. Just say one person is not is the only one. I person. have a friend in Ijebu that will be like Alpha. She she's not as good one reason. Not because of anything. Yes, like, girls. 
He asked a girl that like, he asked the girl if the girl come to his place and stuff. But the girl said that school has resumed. I won't just be sure if the school has resumed or not. And I'll be like, I don't know. They have school if you don't resume. I don't know if you don't resume. If okay. not different course with the study, I don't know. So most times, it's not only in last with the en- like environment. Mm. It's also outside. Most of them go outside the bus. Yeah, just some level, you know. So you know, so from last hotel to the wood. I was talking about your hometown. Yeah. What, where's your hometown? Abekuta. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I think yeah, my point is crazy. Yeah, they are very promiscuous. So like yeah. very, 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 very. Why you are talking like that? I know. Not like me. I've other like soup. I've been dead too. Other like soup. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to do other like soup. It's where I have been too. It's where I have been. Yeah, I know. It's where I have been too. It's where I have been too. And I'm why I emphasize on include. I've not been anywhere outside. And that's why I'm reacting to it because when I left last week, I went to a private school and it's still there. Uh, yes, really? yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I have the word for grace. Let's stop this location battle. Yes, let's leave yes, 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 location. No, yes. I'm not talking about location now, but Grace, okay, you wouldn't look. you wouldn't know now because the 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 aura you carry is a Jesus vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you wouldn't know now. Yes, now. See, see no evil, touch no evil. Yes, see no evil. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? It, it now, it's nice, obvious. Nice, Are you sure? <laughs> All right, so oh yeah, now let me hear what you have. You, you um, listen. On, on so sad, you <laughs> Sorry. Whatever. I I think you should be careful what you say next. Don't, don't say anything. Do, if, you, if you say anything, I'll cast it. It can be used. It can be used. They won't cut it All out. Right. <laughs> We're not editing anything. Man. All those guys that see, no, come no, no, those about, guys that come here and see, I tell you, no, he's, he's, he's trying to say that some girls will, that maybe I'm looking like a churchy girl. Or exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's Wait, what we guys. No experience. problem. Wait. Wait. It's and he's, he's saying some people may not be able to open up to me. Guy, you are wrong. Okay. No problem. We have that. We have that. Are you sure? No, 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 let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's Except if I want to give my life to Christ. That I think we should ask her, please. Ah, ah, hey, what? Oh, what? She's a little bit of a lot. 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 Except I want to give my life to Christ. Oh, That's what I mean. Bam. Just open my eyes. Exactly. Hammer. Head. Because you <laughs> so people that are doing the cup now, they don't, they don't have God. I have. It's not about well, I'm just surprised about what she's saying. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm surprised. surprised. But the truth is, you can't just judge based on maybe how I look. Thank God my VP is here. I have cases of even some of my club members. I'm sorry to say if they are listening to this. Some of them, we got closer because of what they went through. Okay. I have some that will go through abortion. So it's not because of we, some that I just look at. You. So it's not, not tell I'm, you. I'm trying to prove that it's point. Don't tell you when you are going to so, 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 right, okay. okay. You guys, you guys, you guys resist the urge to do that. Let's just focus. Otherwise, if you don't do, you won't make up. I I will say this again. If you guys don't man up, you make it the end of this. She has dropped data again. Swallow it. Let's go ahead. We are reviewing an article. Yeah. Question, just to clarify. So I just want to clarify. We're not you clarify the <laughs> <Let's start. laughs> can, can, can ask her often. <laughs> we have a direction we're going here. Okay, people are cracking jokes and all that, but I will tell you this. We're having these conversations, all right? Because this stuff is 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 coming close to home. Okay. For you guys who are not married in the studio, totally this the women who are involved in the cup is they will form your selection pool for wives. So okay. to have to it doesn't. Uh, it's 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 good for you to say you ordered two. <laughs> Baba, <laughs> Mr. Gary, <laughs> it's good for you to say you've ordered two. Okay. Sure. The flip side of it is that somebody that's ordering your wife. Some <laughs> people your wife. I don't mind as long as I'm bending somebody <laughs> over. So let's let's continue with the rest of the show. Oh okay. yeah. Just let's just make it easy. Social media has made it a lot easier for young people to engage in casual conversations and share explicit content. This has led to a normalization of casual encounters, with many people seeing it as just another form of entertainment. While cop culture may seem like a harmless trend, there are several implications for Nigerian society. One of the most significant consequences is the impact that has on mental health of young people. Casual encounter can lead to a feeling of loneliness and isolation, as well as a sense of emptiness and a lack of purpose. This can lead to depression, anxiety, and other mental health problems. All right, so can we, can we stop on this paragraph? Okay, so I would 
when we talk, when we spoke about discussing this particular topic, we're discussing it. We're looking at it from from the mental health perspective, okay? Particularly from the reproductive and mental health perspective, all right? I am a public health physician, okay? And as much as possible, there are conversations that people will not have because you can't have this conversation, for example, in your youth group in many places. Why? Because it's seen as taboo. Yeah. Okay? Despite the fact that many people are involved in it. And so we're looking at the... At the end of this conversation, we want to take a look at the reproductive and mental health issues around this particular culture. Okay? Are you guys with me? Yes. Okay, so that's that's the angle that I am coming from. Right? If we crack jokes at the end of the whoever somebody who watches this, okay, so let me build a composite. My composite for the ideal person who watches this podcast is probably like a 20, 27, 28 year old young lady who probably has spent the age of 17 to 25 running a right, business. Running a Yoko business. And who now wants to settle down and start a family. Okay? All right? On an average year. On an average year, if she's active on dating apps, how many how many clients can she engage on an average year? Mr. Dari, just give me just give me rough. from the age of when? No, yeah. of how many clients can she engage? Can she annually. meet in one year annually? Yeah. To, be, to, be, to, be, on to, to be honest, yeah. in a week, if she's really active, <laughs> two to three. Mm-hmm. Is she two active? Three. Two to mm-hmm. three. If she's really active, okay. so year, unless she's, like, she's, what she's just so terrible okay, and so, she's so, so great at so, her job, so, she can so, get seven per week. So you are ah. saying that, okay, so <laughs> minimum of two, shall we? I'll say, no, I'll sorry, say. please, please. Okay, I've forgotten I used to go to beach at night, so <laughs> in a week, it's true, it can be up to 15. Okay, 365. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? In a week, she can what? 365. In a week, in a year. year. In a week, that's one per day. In a year, yeah. Say yes, in a year, three, okay, in a week, day. every day. And, 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 the, and the one and per day. The, let me let me get you, let me get you right now. The one per day is that high estimate or low estimate? High. That, that's no. High. I mean, I've met some people it's low. who have done like more than once a day. You're talking. Remember that Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. I've every missed. day. No, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. You have it, it you have depends. people who probably could meet up with more than one person. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it exactly. can be more than that. I've oh, I had so someone cool. over the night four times. Yeah. She left. She came back. She left. She yes, came back. Four times. Not for you. Though. For no, different people. For, you. for different people. Not for me. Not because of me alone. No. We went to the. Beach. Okay, you are one of them. Okay, let's let's hear the story, please. Let's let's get into the story. We we went we went to the beach. Me and my guys. We were there. We were gisting. We were discussing because it's been a while. We met together. They were his old school friends. So we were gisting, we were talking, and it's not just once we've done it. So it's occasionally sometimes, probably two or three times in a month. Wait, I don't get told. What do you mean that it's not once you've done work? We, it's not once we've met together. <laughs> we talk, we <laughs> gist, yeah. we talk about well, our life. Is. Is. Some of us are, are married. Someone. Why? The really younger ones when we were in school, those of us have not married, but the older ones then, they are already married with kids. Okay. So they, they are, um, they are, level of what they can do as, as uh, how would I even say outside like there are level of things they can do outside and they just have to caution themselves because they are now married okay. and they just don't want anything to, to mess up their marriage life mm-hmm. so the other ones that are really young they used to actually buy markets when I mean by buy markets when we get to the beach around 11 or 10 10 is too young let's start with 12 in the night. Definitely. You definitely meet those girls. They'll come. Fine boy. I find you day. Mock you day. Cute girls. Not even Nigerian girls at this time. No more different girls. They would come. And this day, there was anybody that is currently new will be hot for that week. Immediately you are coming, you definitely get a guy or two that would come, take you out. Before one, two hours, they are back again with the Uber driver to that same location. Another extra, probably 10, 15 minutes. He has got, she has left the place again. Come back again. Like, that particular week, I observed that girl. We went there three times. And I observed that girl. She was going more than four times. She went, she came back, she went, she came. And we were like, more even interview this babe. Say, make we know what they saw. We called her and she was like, ah, 35 for, for how many minutes, how many years? Ah, what was the meaning of that one? 35 for just, we come, we go, we are ah, ah, no now. That was the that was a prize for that day. So 
practically you can go four five times in the night. A girl. Okay. Oh, I go for Do you do, do, do you do night? Night? Okay, so is it something you've seen? Yes. Is it something that you have people around you that have experienced? Yes. Okay. What? What did you think my next question would be? <laughs> <laughs> have you have you taken part? No, 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 no. This is gonna make it to YouTube now, so. No. And every, yeah, every, every, every woman is gonna have they're gonna have children something. Their, grandchild, their yeah, grandchildren will watch this. Women so. also that do it. You know, that's what we say about it. your grandchildren will watch this. Mm. All right, so we're saying three hundred and sixty five. She is giving us an estimate three hundred and sixty five. No, it's not. I mean, like on average. On average. on average. Let's say let's let's take on average. Okay. Active. Seventeen to twenty five. How many years is that, please? We include seventeen. That should be eight. eight years. Eight years. Nine. That should be nine years. Seventeen to twenty five. Nine it's eight years, years now. Nine. Seventeen, eighteen, okay, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-six is nine. Twenty-five. You are adding. You have to include both. That's about three thousand entrants. Just like do the math. No, we're just different body. We're going to come. Assuming it is each person is going to come in ten times. That's thirty-six thousand. Trust. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> How can you survive? That, that? is the uh, ridiculous. <laughs> well, not, I'm not even thinking of in, in that calculation, but we're talking about so the person you're looking at like a body count of over three thousand. Yeah. Okay. It's not whether you accept it or not, whether you want to um whether you want to agree or not. When you go to supermarkets and when you go to um pharmacies and the local chemist, as you are checking out, you see bags of condom huh. and people are using them mm-hmm. they are buying them they are one of the fastest selling goods F- in F- pharmacies F- and supermarkets. F- F- do you understand me so you get me Can it has F- implications F- for the mental and, and I, 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 we're going to this conversation and please we're looking at this so that we can understand okay three thousand bodies and the person wants to get married probably 27. Huh. you understand me for uh-huh. you get me mm-hmm. That is the dating pool. Body for the people, by the people of the people. <laughs> 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 but you can still right. look good with all those things. Uh. No, no, definitely, <laughs> definitely, you look good. It's not. We're not again. I'm just explaining. So you have you have lots of issues and all that. We'll go into. I just want that to sink in, so that by the time we start talking about the reproductive health consequences and the mental health consequences, eh, um, we can make informed decisions. Okay. Everybody is quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very dangerous. Last three thousand is very surprising. <laughs> well, I should be surprised. I should ah, have taken. Are you saying it's, it's not possible? It's, no, it's very possible. possible. Are you serious? She will have. She's doing something. She's not using anything. She's using what? She she ah. still be very good looking. What did you know? <laughs> 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 you are going out. Are you serious? Okay, so it's not that actually understand why most microphone come. Why most girls actually most people not girls actually say all this breast fame, hips fame, and all those things because I don't understand how you how you actually have three thousand bodies inside you and you are looking okay. Yeah, but it's not body. They go outside. Yes, I think they stay with you. It's not thing you get. No, that place they enter. Yeah, All right, so, you, so that that's your view. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Does anybody else have any contrary views? Um, what may I saw online? There was this um, this lady had to interview. I think three girls, if I can recall. Yeah. So, okay. she asked them because she said um, there's this environment whereby every Saturdays swimming is free. So. And she asked them about their ages. One is 17, one is 18, one is 19. And I think the other one is 17. I think they are four. She now had to like ask, um, like, how many is your body count? The 19-year-old girl said her body count was um, seven, or so. seven or so. But the one that paid me pass was so a 17-year-old girl 15? that said her body count was 15. <sighs> Two years from your age. Hey, you're not even legal yet. I mean, like, are you taking them like 15 on a daily like, basis? On a daily like, basis. 15, I don't she's understand. trying no more. Like, 15, 15 men, men just no, has she, slept she's with half. She's she's wait, sorry, sorry, guys, I'm trying to follow your story. Okay, so is she saying that she has slept with 15 men by the age of 17? Yes. yes. Is that what is surprising that is you? Sad. Is, that no, I'm is not, it at the age or she slept with 15 she's men still over 17. that weekend? Not over the weekend. Her body count. Her body count for our whole life. Our life. Our our life. life. I should try now. It's small now. Ah, 17, 17 years old. I'm surprised she's trying now from so male perspective. Now. She is. 
Uh, All right, so guys, use... guys, guys. Mm. All right, this is one of those things in which uh, it's like uh, money. When when you ask, do you have anybody? You say I don't have. It's one of those things. Let's just <laughs> say that. <I> say. <laughs> yes. okay. yeah. We're hearing all these kind of stories, and there's nobody inside there. Mm-hmm. The exception of that gentleman who has agreed to patronizing. Mm. Right? <laughs> I think mean, the, 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 the something here girl is just trying to. She's just and then Mister Mister Ay is um. Say why you surprised that people can do it for free? Oh, <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the, guys. Let's get back to the article. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to the article. Uh, another implication of hookup culture in Nigeria is the impact it has on traditional gender roles. In a society where gender roles are strongly defined, cultural encounter can be seen as a threat to to these traditional values. This can lead to stigmatization stigmatization and discrimination against women who engage in casual encounter. Okay, so I'm going to ask a question now in response to what you said. For those of us in university environments or who have observed hookup culture in university environment, do you think there's a stigma associated with it? Obviously. Presently right now in Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. Is there a stigma? Yes. Is stigma? No. Yes. It makes men under, yes. it makes men undervalue them. Like yes. they just treat them like stigma. trash. Especially like those guys as witness Which those men? girls. Yeah, no. Some men even... who have money. <laughs> you have to pay the even See, process. even those that doesn't have money, they, do you know how they treat their their girlfriends these days? No, After no, school. All right. So you are you, so you are saying that. Let me let me ask you. Your own opinion. Is there any stigma towards? What I mean is that do, does does our culture now, does wider society, frown at it? At it. It's, That's yes. the question I'm asking. Yes. Frown at it. Do you? No. Or do you have? Ex- do, do you have a, do you have a thought on this? No. You were saying something about Victoria Island or whatever, Lekki or something like that was extremely the other time. That's what I was asking. Is it frowned upon there? Yes. Eh? Mm? Mm, no, no. Really. <laughs> okay, so you live in Lekki. Yeah. Is it frowned upon in Lekki? Not really. Are you telling me that? So people are not ashamed to be seen with hookup girls? No. No. Mm-mm. Okay, so there's no shame anymore. I think mm-hmm. I, I, I think there is a yeah, there is. In but I think country. in this area, like, there's still, like, you know, traditional yeah. people. There is. Know, I, I don't so mean, like... You feel it's it's frowned upon in Ikoro, do you? Yes, because... Yeah. And <laughs> in other parts of Lagos, is it frowned I, upon around during the Lagiaba access? No. I even want to say... Audrey, Audrey, I can okay. speak on that. It wants to just stay around the area. Thank you, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, the, the, the stuff is that those girls, it's not as if they are doing the cup for you, they have... Some clients, do you get? So it's not as if you are seeing. So if 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 you see the girl with another guy, you wouldn't know that he's doing a couple. In fact, you'll be odd. You as a man would desire. <laughs> yes, now well, they don't dress lavishly because their bodies are business. Have to take care of it. Even you that you are going to church, you have to carry your Bible and look back. Ah, who is this odd girl? And that's the odds to do a cop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. not, somebody will carry you. Uh, so this guy, yes, now they're not just by fine. by In fact, there was one top MD. Of an institution in Nigeria, she's a woman. In fact, she said one of the reasons why she 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 had to face her study because men were not carrying her. Mm. Her friends were beautiful. Those people didn't, they don't have to read to be, you know, I to get to. access. But she she has to read and make sure that she gets that stuff because ah. she, she can't offer her body. They won't believe. Okay, so get to her. so that stuff. She's disagreeing with you. I I think if it's casual sex, men don't care if you're beautiful. Like they yeah, can we'll just put since, since there's, no. there's no money, if there's no money involved. Yes, if there's yes. No money involved. Even, yes. If, even if money is involved, like. They don't really care. As long as they don't care about what they don't care about the face. No, we don't really care. It's not even that face. It's not even the body. The body. It's not even the face. 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 I've seen so many like ugly cheek. I agree with her. Right now, I really, really agree with her because. You men of nowadays, sorry to care. say, they don't care about it. The only thing say they Man, want chop the uh-huh. thing. Wait. That is the cocoa. Okay. Forget about wait, wait, wait. money or yeah. no money, any mm-hmm. issue. They are going to eat that, that thing. Their aim is their mindset is let's go inside let's action. Let's okay. 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 I'm, okay. Not, I'm not I'm not I'm <laughs> not arguing. But there is something. There is something. <laughs> In terms of not caring this. 
You are entering the dangerous territory. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I am playing the professional host. Okay. But if you go down that path, I will leave you. <laughs> Just I mean, one, so I'm going to ask you one question. I'm going to ask you one question. Are you speaking from personal experience? No. I mean, I'm no. not. And it's going to be hard for you to make that claim. It's only a man that can make that claim. No, I have so, so. The claim, the claim me, me I'm saying now is, men, we, eh? The real truth is, we care about the fine face sometimes. And that is, it depends on how much the person is charging us, if the face is fine as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right, exactly. so you have agreed, basically right now, you have publicly agreed to prostitution. Me, I'm not agreeing. I don't do it. I'm a man of God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You are that, you are that All right, so, okay. so let's come back to the article. Now. Okay. Well, listen, gentlemen. As we are cracking jokes and laughing, there's something, there's a much bigger problem with this stuff that we're cracking jokes about. Okay, there's a much bigger problem. And I want us to get the conversation there. Okay. okay. Again, sorry, just I don't know, I have to I have to make this point. On this podcast, we want people to, we want to show people consequences. We want to show them trade-offs uh, so that they will be well informed with the decisions they are making. Okay. It's also the same reason. Some of these things are the same reason why when we are advising young men about making decisions with regards to um, who they will choose as a partner, or when we are advising young ladies also as when they have to make a decision who to say yes to. That's why we tell people that you have to be as you have to be as intentional as possible. Okay, so that you know what you are getting yourself into. So let's get back to the show and then we'll, we'll continue with, with feedback. Okay. Hookup culture also has implications for the spread of sexually transmitted diseases, STIs, in Nigeria. With young people engaging in casual encounter with multiple partners, the risk of contracting an STI is much more higher. This can have serious consequences for the health of young people in Nigeria, particularly given the limited access to healthcare in many parts of the country. Okay, how many people agree with this? I agree. Everybody STI. Agrees with this, yeah. Everybody agrees with STI. How I many people, I mean, people believe that uh, you can prevent STIs with condoms? I'm preventing now. Let me shake your nips. Yes. Large percentage. Yeah. Let me shake your nips. You need to be shake. Why are you shaking your nips? Because the real truth was, even after those encounters and years in Abuja, when I got home, even if I was using protection, when I got home and I wanted to do HIV test, <laughs> <laughs> I believe Please I get continue. BPO. <laughs> because when I was waiting for the test result, and especially when they were drawing my blood, my blood was so dark. I was so scared. <laughs> it's a dark web. I'm not lying. No. I was scared. Like, really scared. Even if I knew I was using protection all those years, hmm. I was still scared. Yeah, because that, that doesn't mean protection I, I, is not working. You're just Abuja. scared. It hey, was not the result of the scared. HIV. It's just it's just just serious. Serious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know you have a question. Hallelujah. Even the last one I did, I hung it. I didn't tell me, but... Check your status, so... I have a All right, so I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. HIV is not the worst thing that can happen to you. Yeah. Okay? So, it's people people think HIV is... It's not the worst. Okay, you have several other viral viral infections that people can pick up. And for some of them, you can pick them up through body fluids. Epis. You understand? Epis. And usually when you have epis, it stays with you. It doesn't go. For, for life. Okay. Same thing with HPV. The human yeah, papilloma HPV. virus, which causes, I, like which, is, which is one of the things that leads to um, the high incident of cervical cancer. <laughs> okay. Cancer. It's the cervix is, cervix is the entrance of the womb. The cervix is the entrance of the womb and Usually, one of the one of the things that we see is that women who have um, who have had a lot of multiple sexual partners are at high risk of developing um, hepatitis, cervical cancer. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, so it's one of the risk factors. HPV also you can also pick it through body fluids. Another thing also is hepatitis, and hepatitis is dangerous because hepatitis is, is in a sense it's worse than HIV because the person can if somebody if somebody has a body fluid that carries the virus, it can stay active for a very long time, even on surfaces. Hmm. Do you understand me? Yeah, you guys are folding your... I am just... De- I'm telling you exactly the way it is. Okay? For actions, there's a reason why when we tell people to abstain, there's a particular reason. It's not religious. Okay? It's because decisions that people make today actually have long-term consequences down the line. Okay? So... They will tell you either you abstain or you stay with one single partner because there are lots of diseases that people can pick up. All right, but would 
You'd have enough time. This is not a, that lecture, so we'll just get into it. Let's just let's let's proceed with abstinence. Why young people in Nigeria are embracing So why exactly culture? do we have a lot of people who are getting into hookup right now? One of the main reasons why young people in Nigeria are embracing hookup culture is the changing attitudes towards young people, young girls. girls. Boys, boys, you don't know that guys do hookup. Hmm. For everybody, for every woman, eh, there's there's yeah, a guy there now. Yeah. The picture now. Maybe not every guy can afford to pay, but one of the main reasons why young people in Nigeria are embracing the hookup culture is the changing attitudes towards casual encounter. Unlike the older generation, young people are more open-minded about casual encounter, and this is as a way to explore their sexuality and have fun. Additionally, many young people are delaying marriage and starting families, and they see hookup culture as a way to satisfy their sexual desires without the commitment that comes with the long-term relationship. Social media has also played a significant role in the rise of hookup culture. Social media platforms have made it easier to meet new people and to arrange casual encounters. Many young people in Nigeria use dating apps like, like the one we are reading from now, Tinder and Badu, to find potential partners for online start. <laughs> <laughs> These apps slash websites have made it easier to connect to people who are looking for the same thing and they provide a level of anonymity that allows people to explore their sexual desires, their sexuality without fear of judgment. Another factor contributing to the rise of hookup culture in Nigeria is the influence of Western culture. Okay? Western culture has been has become increasingly popular in Nigeria. Many young people are adopting the lifestyle and attitudes of, of Westerners. Hookup culture is a common phenomenon in Western countries, and many young people in Nigeria view it as a way to emulate Western lifestyles and attitudes. Okay, so let's just, I'll just summarize the next, the impact. So under the impact, this, this article says that under the impact, basically Nigeria has one of the highest HIV rates in the world, okay? And it's largely driven by, it's largely driven, the recent waves are largely driven by hookup culture without protection, okay? Because... Also, you also need to realize that condoms and other other things that condoms that uh, condoms are are relatively more expensive now. If you, is there anybody is there anybody who can agree to that attest to that? Because everybody's looking at me. Why is everybody looking at me? What's the reason about this one? <laughs> <laughs> actually increased somehow. Yeah, there's been inflation in. I think two hundred naira or so. Ah, uh-huh. is that? In- For which no, pack no. is that? I, um, these um common one. Excuse. Ki- ah. What? <laughs> 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 and so other ones, so, and other condom brands, I will not mention them, which are a bit more comfortable. You have some of them going as high as a thousand, thousand five, two thousand, and the rest. So, a lot of people, I I know at least I know people who would buy condoms on credit. Mm. Mm. Yes. I'm telling you, as, as bad as that, okay? And pay when they come. So those are some <laughs> of the things that. Okay, so let's let's. Let's just see how we address it and then we'll, we'll take the last story so that we can close out the show. Okay, to address the hookup culture in Nigeria, society needs to take a holistic approach that addresses the underlying factors that contribute to this trend. One of the key factors that needs to be addressed is the lack of education and lovemaking in schools. Many young people in Nigeria lack the knowledge and skills needed to engage in safe and responsible lovemaking. By providing comprehensive education and lovemaking, schools can help young people make informed decisions about their health and well-being. Let's just let's let's let me let me let's let me stop here. Do you guys agree with this author? You still agree now. Everything you say is still I I strongly disagree. Yeah, I strongly they, disagree. They, 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 the come to, they came to my school. Wow. Okay. I think I was in twenty eleven. They came to my school to come and talk about stop all this, stop all this, stop all this. Yeah, I don't think they they they, 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 they shared condom, condom now. <laughs> so it's not the evil day. They know you won't stop. <laughs> Okay, so, so we're talking about the reproductive implications, the sexual risk of sexually transmitted illnesses, risk of developing um, pregnancies. Um, and of course, when people get pregnant, there's also the risk that they would want to terminate the pregnancies. Incidentally, in the country right now, um, termination of pregnancies, except, except it's... Um, termination of pregnancy, except it's incest, or, or it threatens the mother's life, is it's, it's criminal. So... That means that most people are forced to find ways to terminate pregnancies from under the hmm. under the counter, under the counter methods. methods and the rest. So, so those are some of the things that can come out of it. Also, but we look at the mental health challenge. It's extremely hard because human beings are wired to, to bond. It's extremely hard for someone. People say there's casual sex, but the truth is, and it's what we know right now, is this fact that there really is nothing like casual sex. After a while, and and if if you know ladies who are involved in 
hookup, regular hookup, who have who, who rack up bodies over the years. After a while, when you see some of them, you can tell because in their eyes, and I'm not saying this, this is fire. You see some that you take a look in their eyes and the eyes, there's this emptiness. There is. All right. When you see them take pictures, okay, there's you see. Okay, and I, I can't imagine exactly the amount of some people have have um some people have genuine reasons for going into it because some people probably they don't have support from home and all that and they're trying to find a way to pay their way through life and okay, and that's what puts them along the pathway. But that does not excuse um a persistent lifestyle. Okay, so we're having this podcast because the people who are watching this right now as we're talking about this, you are actively involved in sex for money. You're not doing it the way prostitutes do it and we just stand by the roadside. There's someone who's probably watching this and the person is doing it and using dating apps and all that. And long term, there are mental health challenges. Okay, There are lots of people who cannot keep and maintain stable relationships with the opposite sex because they've used... And it, it works both ways for both men and women. As much as I respect the jokes you crack and all that, there's this... The sad part about it is that if for people who progress who are progressively involved in sleeping with with lots of those ladies, it becomes extremely hard for them to get satisfied by one woman. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So those are things that people should keep at the back of their mind. Particularly if you want to have a family and you want a stable family. We know from research that um a man and a, a man and a woman together as husband and wife, committed to each other, is exactly the best foundation for families. For children, okay, so it's extremely hard to have that bond, particularly if both partners have had large amounts of sexual appetites and the rest. So those are things that people want to look at. I wish we had easy, straightforward solutions, but the answers are, ju- are not just there. There are multiple issues to it. And before we close out the show, I probably would ask your thoughts on what people can do. If you know, if if you are here, you know somebody who is involved in... Um, who, who turns over bodies regularly, like the Grim Reaper? <laughs> okay, <laughs> both male and female. So if, not, if you know anybody who is in that situation, what how would you? What do you think? I have a few thoughts, but I will leave that. What do you think would be the best way to exit the lifestyle? Or what trade-offs would you expect them to accept? Because for some people, may not be able to easily exit. So what trade-offs would? So that's the conversation we'll be having. Okay. For should I go I first? Think, I think the only I don't know if there are other ways of exiting such a lifestyle. But I think maybe you seek advice. Help. So I think <laughs> that's the best way of actually. Advice. It's, it's advice. Advice. actually it's it's about discipline. Actually, only God can sorry, you see, yes. sorry. Like, some of some of these problems, things. some of these problems, like some of, okay. some of your problems, yeah. the solutions to your problem may not be spiritual. It may be discipline. I'm not saying yeah. Yeah. Some well, may not be free. Yeah. Now. It's maybe Mr. It's maybe self self-control. self-control. So when you are saying spiritual, if God is trying to save you for something and your mind and your body is still going back, so what yeah. was there's something we are missing. Uh, this me, guy said something that I never did, said like you. that anyway, sorry. Okay. That a lady went four times. 35k times four, that's one forty k. Yes, <laughs> now chill now. She's got her has mean she's going three times a week. That's how much you did help me. One forty times three. A week, that's how much? 280 plus. That's 420. Four, like four, four, a week. In the month, that's what that's how much? Ah. That's around 1.2. <laughs> you are saying, but it's 40 now. <laughs> that's why. Now, if he's stopping. And actually. Stopping to do what? Okay, that, was that, was why, that was why okay, I said okay, okay. when he said spiritual. Yeah, but for me, you spiritual. for me, I, I do not say deliverance. So. Ah. For me, I never said the deliverance. Real the real truth. I said say spiritual. Okay, like so. you go spiritual. Like maybe you meet the, 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 your clergy or your imam. Like you talk about it and then. So the I'm not saying you go for it. It's still the same thing I'm talking so about. Self discipline. Hello, self discipline. Yeah, you, if you are used to this thing, you think it's easy. Yeah, no, that yeah. Was like, actually, that was like some of them actually. You say why? You say why? The reason why the counsel you give has limitations is because there is almost nobody here, all right, that you would ask that is equal good that they will tell you this is the positive side of it apart from money. Okay, so and people have self discipline. So to a degree. The question is, why should they exercise it? And that's what I'm saying now. Self-discipline would not really solve it because there's, like you said, it, 
is the person is out for money. So why would I discipline myself when I'm making the money? Like what you said, and that you is one point two million. Yes, you can if you okay at some junction or at a point when you feel the need to call it quits. Maybe you can. That's why I say you maybe go to your imam or pastor. And oh. there's limitation. Okay, the issue is uh, I, I think I could now. This stuff we are talking about is the one of the older. Am I correct? This correct me. That one of the oldest profession on earth. Oh, yes. And people have been talking about it since. Yes. Inside the Bible. Yeah, I, I Before Jesus to... came, yes. after the guy came, if the, the, the savior could not what solve it. <laughs> is that <laughs> black, uh, blasphemy. Don't say that. No, it's not blasphemy. I'm telling you, it's reality. The, the guy came thousand years ago. Pass it, do you know? Cop. Now that, that, that's the level of difficulty. The level of. In fact, the guy that the lady that wash her feet was probably into cop. Mm-hmm. Maybe Magdalene. Yes. Yeah. Yes, now. Right. But, but there the is something. Prostitute around him. I don't know. But, but maybe yeah. the, those guys, for some reason, they could not change. Now, I'm, I'm asking you, why should I leave a job of 1.2 million? <laughs> <laughs> but there is something, actually. There and, is something. Is, All right, so, um, <coughs> just, let, me, let, me just, let me just weigh in on this. Okay. Structurally, there are things that make it possible for, for people to continue to do things. Okay, so, first and foremost, if anybody wants to stop doing a call, all right, at least the person needs to have a phone, right? The person has a phone. The person has a phone, all right? A phone number. The person has an account on a dating app. Not even an account. Instagram is it. Instagram also makes it easy. TikTok. Okay. Makes it easy. And then the person can be contacted. Okay, so in today's world, what makes it extremely difficult to quit is that most people are stuck to their phones. If a girl has gotten her phone and she has signed up with her phone number on a hookup site, right? Even long after she exits the hookup site, she cannot delete the phone number from the users phone from, from all the, the users' phones. So a structure has been built in such a way that at some particular point in time, the only way a lot of people will leave so is when they see. age out of the market. Yeah, it's difficult to leave. So okay. you want to yeah, and I also want to say social media too. Because some people, um, the lifestyle is already like you know this paying lifestyle, and they cannot they cannot continue that lifestyle working in normal job. So I, I didn't get that. Sorry. They spend yeah, um, way the more same. than they, they, can be, they yeah. spend way more than they earn. Yes. Yes. Like so, and the yeah. Instagram lifestyle that they used to. If you stop doing like hookup prostitution, like. Who is going to finance it? And if you as a girl, you know this girl into a cop and you see that you want to change that, you enter. By the time shit is the fun, someone will contact her. <laughs> I, I'm not saying guys, of course, ethical is not good for guys to patronize. You know, but if you do, guys patronize, girls patronize. I'm not a monger this, but those are advice men that <laughs> you can't pass it. But it's not possible to marry. Papa. Yeah. Yes. Of course, you can't know. I disagree with you. There are people that I don't know where you go. So let's let's hear. There are people that have seen somebody that have married the stripper before. And well, they let me finish now. Is different let me finish now. See, see, see how excuse many, me. How many? Stripper, yeah, is you see this. stripper is different from <laughs> you. What is the difference between stripper and the other person? You see now. the same thing now. No. You are opening your body. No. You asked me a question. No, I wanted to ask her. She was saying that you are only dancing. If you go to a stripping club, you see, see them, they will touch your body. What are you saying? Yes, I'm but you have to touch them it. back. Have you gone to a stripper's club? I have visited one once. Hey. And you cannot tell me I'm not going to take pictures. You cannot take pictures. They will touch you, but you can't do anything. What is it? You are making money from them. I don't know where. We went to a stripper's club. Normally, it's not in Lagos. We have gone to so many places. It's like So, it's not even in Abuja, it's in um, um, Ocean State. So we went to a stripping club that very day. I think we had to drive down to Ibadan because Oguma Shore is not that far from Ibadan. So we had to drive down to Ibadan and we got to a stripper club and we were normal now. You see them going up and down. So we were, paying, <laughs> we were putting money on their body and we were trying to touch some parts of their body. So while we were touching the part of their body, we noticed that the lady we were with, mm-hmm. she's a lactating mother. Yeah. What's the meaning, please? <laughs> she's, she's, still she's still breastfeeding and she's there to work. I think. How sure are you? Some could be medical ah. issue. Mm-mm. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. 
the ah, breast is big. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so what's the point of the story? <laughs> the point is, <coughs> it's difficult to stop Abby. Yeah. Even if you are mad, it's difficult to stop. All right, so. You are saying that she, 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 she will change. You are saying, Oji, oh. you are saying something. I was saying that you as the guy, forget that any, any bullshit lady is telling you she will change, Papa. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. Now, if you do it, you have to accept the fact that one day, one of those clients, one that has gone with three, we 3, still will lay out of 3,000, then we still call. Uh, and of course, and the price has, will be crazy. Assuming that 100 call, 50, you have money. Uh, and she insisted 40. Tell they are calling every day, every day, every day. And things are hard. You think she will not ask you? Discipline. <laughs> Which discipline? You jump out of the window. For, for, for guys. So what you, for what guys. you don't want to this do is what you are perceived. The world is not fair. The world is not fair. What you don't want to eat. Now, people go on online, they see girls dancing naked. They like, I love you, I love you. But if the stars do it. Ah. Yes. The world is not You don't have to have to accept that. It's not fair. What you like, you don't want a family member to do it. So it's normal. If you are bringing that one, that, that one that you know, right. can't. That, I would say this. Okay, Chi. Okay, Chi. Okay, Chi. I will say this. All right. Again, you need to take a hard look at the podcast. This is not a motivational show. It's reality. We are not here to tell people yeah. that yeah. they focus on their focus, they become focused. We are not <laughs> we are not here to motivate people. We'll tell it the way it is. You can marry somebody who has had a huge lifestyle, a, a huge lifespan. Okay, as a hookup girl. You can do that. But the question you want to ask yourself is why would you want to do that? When the other girl that are if you okay. have another girl, why would you? That's what does what utility does a man gain out from it? From that, that's the point. You know, like what I was I was saying was he should not look as if they are like the way you were saying that nobody you are advising them like is your they the should person, do it and you don't want to marry you don't want to marry you don't want to start to do it. I, 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 you are saying they should not stop. stop. Should not stop. Is there way she was collecting money from the guy? They're not forcing. And not listing the guy's number. She collecting money. She will not advise her brother it's, it's to do it, but she is doing it for that guy. You have to accept it. Yeah. Now, let's just you can't. I'm not motivating it. Okay, but I've seen people that have done that before, and there's no. It doesn't work. God bless. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I resign. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay, now you have. Okay, I'm just. I'm just trying to paint this scenario. There's someone you know very, very well, very, very well. The guy is responsible and um, well to do it. And then um, he happens to to meet a stripper. You know a stripper too. And the guy says, ah, I like this stripper. And you know that this guy, what will you say? Will you say go on? And and, and you know that this person is closely related to you. Will you endorse the guy to dating the, the you I cannot tell him that no, don't date. If it's your Papa, brother, I'm not, not, no, 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 I will not say that. Because if you don't marry the guy, if you want to marry, you say you want to marry your brother, wants to marry a person that you know, you say your brother should go ahead. You don't say that. Choose for my brother. Yes, I guess. I my mother. See, I'm a woman being too. Do you know what made that girl to do that? Guys, point of view. From a guy's point of view, you know, no man. Even all the girls that are we we that we should carry this step. No, okay, you are not a woman. Okay, let me let me let me talk because guys, there's so many things. Emotions are turning. Emotional emotions are are running wild. On the show, okay. So, and we actually have to bring the show to a close, okay. So, I would say oh, this: we respect <laughs> on this show. We respect people's preferences. Okay, you cannot fault people for their preferences. Okay, you can want a five billion dollar earning man per year. You can. The question is, can you get him? You understand me? So, can you get him to marry you? Can you get him to marry you? Exactly. That's the issue. Okay. So for, for the conversations we are having, right? Um, Lisa was telling you that it's extremely hard, right? Mm-hmm. What were you saying? You were responding to us. So let me just yeah. say, let's, let's hear like, what you're saying. It doesn't work most times. Mm-hmm. Like you said most okay. times. No, yeah. Let's, let's hear what you're saying. Most of the time, it doesn't work. What doesn't work? Mm-hmm. Like you. marrying someone who is in the sex industry. Why doesn't who it has, work? Who has been in the sex industry? Why doesn't it work? I actually saw like a study on it okay. that it it doesn't. I can't remember. I can't. I can't cite it right now because I can't remember. But most of the time, it doesn't work. It doesn't work out. And the guy that contributes to the body count, we just mental you. health also. Okay, so I, I will tell you this. Okay, I will tell you this about people. 
And I think, I, I would say this, um, and I'm going to quote someone who I very rarely quote. Okay. There's a particular popular YouTuber, the guy is late now. He used to say that the world exactly. does not hold you, does not owe you understanding. All right. Mm-hmm. I would say that if people have Please. issues, all right, and I will say this, okay, if and if there's anybody who is listening to this, and if you've had a long, productive career in the sex industry or hookup industry, you need to get mental health counseling. Mm-hmm. You need to get mental. It fragments people's minds, and I'm saying this as a physician. It fragments people's minds, and I would say, okay, that it's extremely hard to counsel any man to knowingly enter into a union with a sex worker because they have peculiar mental health challenges. Okay, a lot of a lot of a lot of people. Who, it's not even about the satisfaction. A lot of people have. They are already jaded. Their idea about what sexual relationship looks like is flawed. And you cannot blame them for it. When you if you, if you live in a world in which the person has had, if someone has, has had 3,000 encounters of different people who have come and go, the person is going to believe that you are just one of those 3,000. You will come yeah. and you will go. Okay? And it's extremely hard to change people's, um, it's extremely hard to change people's um, habits over time. You get, so that's the issue. Can people change? Yes, they can. But you need to have, if you're going to, I would just say that if you're going to engage with anybody who, who, who falls in that industry, you need to have evidence that the person has changed. And what do I mean by evidence? I mean that the first evidence is the person has entered into a counseling program, okay, that has that has reshaped the person's mind. And then secondly, the person has an accountability partner that can hold the person and prevent the person from returning back to the industry. If you don't have any of those two things and you go ahead to, to engage with the person, it's much more harder because the pool, the pool of the industry will be far greater than what you can possibly provide. And the same also, so that it doesn't appear as one side, the same also, the same also applies to men. If you form the habit of engaging, of paying for sex, all right, you would also need a bit of Counter- counseling therapies. and therapy. Because those habits are hard to break. Yeah, the same way the look up girl has, if has like, several people have her phone number, men also would, would also have the phone number of several girls as well. Okay, and so it, it works both ways. But the consequences it's, are different. It doesn't matter whether <laughs> the consequences are different or not. Both sides can, con- can get HIV, both sides can get hepatitis. It really, the mental health challenges also are much more on the side of the woman. But it doesn't change the fact that Maybe. there are issues on both sides. It so, affects the men too. Because you definitely not trust any girl. But you trust your girlfriend. <laughs> now I know. If, you, if your phone, <laughs> if, if, if your girl is with you and her phone rings and then you see... Uh, it, acting no, shady. shady. <laughs> uh, you get, it's a red because flag. Because it's hard. Like they say, the punishment of... We'll close out the show this way. The punishment of the liar is not that people believe his lies. The punishment for the liar is that he cannot trust people. Because he believes that if I have told people lies here and they've believed me, then whatever this person is telling me is also a lie. All right, so with that, I don't know if... So thank you very much for coming for the show. Um, we're still going to continue to keep the conversation rolling. Because, But well, thank you very much. Mr. Udi, thank you very, very much. Thank um, you for having me.